Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video. And if you're interested in following me on social media, those links are in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today I'm bringing to you a DIY using these wooden wire brushes that you can get from the Dollar Tree. They have these in the tools section of the Dollar Tree and I believe they're probably used for cleaning the grill part of your barbecue. That is not what I'm using them for. I have something else totally in mind for these wire brushes that I can't wait to show you. So let's jump into it and let me show you what I have in mind for these wooden wire brushes. You're gonna love this. For this DIY, I used four of these wooden wire brushes. Then taking some needle nose pliers, I'm gonna remove all of the wire bristles in each of the brushes. These come out really easily because they're not glued in, they're just stuck into these holes. And so just by giving them a little tug, they pop right out. Didn't take much time at all. I think it took me about 10 minutes to do all four brushes. You can see where the wire bristles were. The holes are pretty rough. They've got a bit of splinters in them. So I'm gonna take a small piece of sandpaper that I had on hand and I'm gonna smooth this out just a bit. On the side of the brush, there's a hole on each side where you'd put a string so you could hang this. It's got a bit of splinters as well. So I'm gonna take my sandpaper and I'm gonna go over it too just to smooth it out. Now using some lightweight speckling by Toolbench, this too you can get at the Dollar Tree, and a putty knife. I picked this putty knife up from the Dollar Tree as well. I'm going to fill in all the holes on this brush with this. Stick with me. I promise you this is worth it. This is an easy DIY. Yes, you can get wood at Lowe's or Home Depot at any hardware store, but I really liked the shape of these brushes. They have a curve to them. They're not just a straight brush. And so that was what gave me the idea to do this DIY. Honestly, I don't know if you can get curved wood at a hardware store. It's at the Dollar Tree. I knew I could do it with this. All I needed to do was fill in these holes. So the spackling is a dollar. I'm going to fill these holes in. I'm going to fill the side holes in and I'm going to do that to all four brushes. Once I've got my holes all filled with the spackling, before it even dries, using some Elmer's wood glue, I'm going to glue two of the handles together and I'm going to do this twice. I figured why wait for the spackling to dry just to turn around and use the glue and wait for the glue to dry. So I just figured I'd glue them together now and let them dry overnight and in the morning we'll be good to go. The spackling is dry, my wood pieces are glued together. I'm going to take some sandpaper and I'm going to sand over where I placed the spackling just to smooth it out a bit. When sanding spackling, it takes a matter of seconds before it's smoothed out. You want to be sure and not to sand too much because you can really take it off pretty quickly and pretty easily. And so I'm just going to, again, sand over all the areas that I put the spackling that I filled in the holes so I can paint this. And I'm going to do this to both pieces. To paint both my sticks, I'll be using this Waverly wax paint in the color of Antique. This paint acts kind of as a stain. What's really cool about this paint is that when you apply it, if you were to take a cloth and wipe over it after you've applied it and wipe off some of the excess paint, you are left with a gorgeous colored stain. You could also just apply it and leave it so you get this darker, richer color. And that's what I'm gonna do because I really love this dark brown. I think it gives it more of a rustic feel. You can see that there's a gap where I glued the two sticks together. Don't worry about that gap because we're gonna remedy that later. I did, however, put a bit of glue in the gap just to fill it. It didn't come on camera. I don't know what happened to the footage, but I did do that. Don't worry about it again because it's not gonna show at the end of this DIY. Because it's so hot outside, I'm gonna set these outside and they're gonna be dry in about 10 minutes. Now it's time to fill in these gaps and to do that, I'm gonna use some twine. I'm gonna wrap the twine around these sticks and I'm gonna do it about an inch above the gap and an inch below the gap. 
I'm using a cream twine that you can get from Michaels in their dollar bins. They're about $2, I think, a spool. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna pick some of these up just to kind of get away from the everyday brown twine that the Dollar Tree carries just to kind of switch it up a bit. And I think that this cream twine goes really well with the Waverly Antique stain that I painted these sticks with. I just love the combination and how they work together. And so I'm gonna continue to wrap this twine around it. Where the gap comes, I'm gonna add a bit of glue and I'm gonna fill the gap in with twine. You're not gonna see this and I'm gonna carry on and it's gonna look like it's one piece at the end. And look there, you'd never even know that there was a gap there and that we glued together two of these wooden wire brushes. Now I'm gonna set these on their side and you can see here at the beginning, I thought I was gonna use some twine loops to hang this. After thinking about it, I thought this is not gonna work because what's gonna hold the bottom of these wood pieces apart and in place? And so I ended up going with a Velcro. Command Strips has Velcro strips that come off your wall and don't damage your wall. So that is definitely the route to go. I tried using Dollar Tree Velcro tabs just to see if it would work and it worked well. The only problem with that is those Velcro dots will damage your wall and so I had to use a bit of Goo Gone on my wall just to get it off so it didn't ruin my wall. Definitely go with the route of the command strips. Didn't have any on hand. They're not super pricey. You can get them at Walmart for fairly cheap in like a 20 pack. On the back side here on the side you can position this wood however you want if you want them to aim in the wood pieces you can if you want the wood pieces to aim out at a curve you can do that I'm gonna take and just glue some twine across each hot gluing them to each wood stick you just need to figure out how far apart you want your wood sticks to be I didn't want mine to be super far apart I think that mine go about 18 to 20 inches apart and I glued about eight strips of twine across and I measured them out at five inches apart going up the wood. I went ahead, I pressed these into place on the wall with the command strips. It held perfectly. I used some clothespins that I picked up from Walmart as well. These are the medium sized clothespin. I also painted them with the antique wax Waverly paint just because I wanted them to match the wood on the outside and I thought that this was just such a cool fun new way to display pictures. It's budget friendly and it's not something that you see every day. How fun is this piece? I have seen these wire brushes at the Dollar Tree I would say for years. It's something that they keep in stock all the time and I've wondered what I could use them for over the years. And I tell you, when Kayla got me this Polaroid camera, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with these wooden brushes. And I thought, this is my aha moment. This is what I'm gonna do with them. It is such a quick and easy, budget-friendly DIY, and the outcome is so stinking cute. I hope you all enjoyed today's DIY. Please give this video a thumbs up, and let's get this video to 6,000 likes because each and every one of those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.